everybody, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Master 88, and welcome to this edition of the Linux Report. Falcon 3.2 is here after three years of development. The project, um, here we go, start from the top. <laughs> In Falcon 3.2, the DuckDuckGo engine is used for, for, con, uh, for con, conducting uh, web searches but can be changed into anything else, depending on your preferences. The project has been pre uh, has been originally started started only for educational purposes, but uh, but from its start, Falcon has grown into a feature rich feature rich browser with all the standard functions you expect from a web browser. Falcon supports web current standards and comes with a built-in ad blocker which is activated by default, eliminating the need of installing an extension for this purpose. The previous Falcon 3.1 was released all the way back in 2019. Today, almost three years later, 3.2 is out, so let's quickly take a look into it. The new version comes with added support for screen capturing. This is a this is a much awaited uh, feature that brings convenience in, in in using it. There is also an option for external um, PD PDF PDF I IUM based viewer. It is a PDF viewer based on the PDF PDF I IUM project, an open source project where which was developed by Foxit and Google. This option allows you to view the PDF files directly uh, in the browser window, but to be workable, you, but to be workable, you need additional AP, APP API support. Falcon 3.2 adds support for detaching tabs via the, via the context menu and a link to the uh, to the KDE store. For installing themes and extensions has been added to the preference log. We can't fail to mention that the removal of locally installed themes is now possible through the theme manager. The search bar, the search bar, uh, the search toolbar also receives some love with this release. The warning message that no results were found has been removed. On top of that, the search bar shows a number of matches found on page search. Apart from those mentioned uh, above, some additional changes also deserve to be noted here. 3.2 comes with an added context menu item to the bookmarks toolbar for creating a new folder. Additionally, the bookmark, ma the bookmark manager now does not allow you to create a bookmark without a parent. Browser cookies allow uh, websites to preserve session data, such as your login credentials, so that you don't lose information when you close the page. Unfortunately, they are often abused to track your online activity across the web. Falcon 3.2 has a built-in cookie manager that can view, edit, delete, and search for cookies. The new browser version adds support for selecting more than one cookie at a time, making it even more convenient and secure to use. Of course, this release comes with a lot of bug fixes and many small UI improvements. For a complete list of, of all changes introduced in 3.2, you can refer to the release announcement. The download page ha on the Falcon website has binaries for Windows and flatback installation for Linux. Unfortunately, the, the new version 3.2 is not available as a binary package for various list Linux distributions, and the only way to get it is to compile it manually from source. Well, everybody, that is it for this edition of the Linux Report. Hope you enjoy this as much as I did, and until next time, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Master 88 saying see you later.